assignment and the story about the Santu and the story about her song, which is thought to be the last tiny scrap of her father's culture. I loved also the story about the skepticism about her and her memory and the sort of argument about its authenticity. And I'm very happy to be um, the amplifier for her memory. I've gone down different paths with thinking about how to improvise around Santu's song. I try to keep it really simple at its essence. I've also tried to relate to Santu uh, as a musician and to respect her work as a musician and to respect the um, the ease in which she sings. It's hard to get at, and it's really beautiful. And it's really not my way, in a sense. In many senses, my work tends to be very messy and untidy. And hers is so clear and so light. It has a real lightness. It's a song that was sung to a little kid by her dad. And I try to go back to that often. Sometimes I'll try to play with the lostness of the sound or with the texture of the wire recording or wax cylinder recording that it was made on. So in the recording, there's a lot of white noise and you can hear her just a little bit. And so I kind of drift back and forth between her interpretation of it, how it would sound if I was in the room with her, what the recording is of it, and then there's also the mediation of the person who did the transcription and what the person who did the transcription was imagining would be a performance of it or an interpretation of it, just reading it and being in somebody's hand. <laughs> 